Seven days into the season, this didn't seem likely. Ten Hag's range starting with defeats to Brighton and Brentford that forecast troubled times. Little sense then that it was Chelsea who would be heading into choppier waters. But it's United who have a top four finish in the palm of their hand. And the pace on it! Perfect start for Manchester United. Casemiro, a man who's developing a happy knack of scoring crucial goals, does it again. They only need a point. Six minutes in, they have the lead. And so knocks it away from him. Oh, it comes through for Sancho. Anthony Martial there to tap it in. And United have had to withstand some torrid phases of play. And they know that they will be a top four team again this season. It's one of his last five, Bruno Fernandes. What will he do here? A full finish for number three. For United, a decent finish in the top four. They're back in the Champions League at Europe's top table. Job done. This is given away here. It's Rashford's moment. Taps it in. There is his 30th goal of the season. It's an absolute gift. Manchester United 4, Chelsea 0. A scoreline that speaks volumes of Chelsea's season. Pulisic needed the ball to be played earlier. Felix goes alone. Oh, it's a brilliant goal. It is only a consolation for Chelsea, but it is a fine strike and an illustration of exactly what he has in his game. Top four finish, guaranteed. A season of transition with its slow start, high-profile departure and maddening inconsistency ends with a return to the Champions League. Manchester United back on the top table. That never in doubt after Casemiro's early opener. Just as Manchester perennially dreams it. Both clubs are thriving. This city is bursting with pride and Old Trafford is bursting at its venerated seams. United and City cheek by jowl in the Premier League's top four. Welcome one and all to this community collision of the elite. This is Old Trafford, red territory for the latest major Mancunian set to Mares to Bruyne. Grealish! The point of sparkling City difference bounces off the bench and scores for the champions at Old Trafford. Manchester United have not lost in the Premier League on this ground since that hideous opening weekend against Brighton. And of all the fixtures they don't want to lose on this ground, this is the one. Casemiro, Rashford's on side here. And Fernandez scores at the strip for them, and the flag goes up to defy him. He disputes it wildly, wildly. And he never has a touch of it. Fernandez may have a point here. Goal! And a really good one from Bruno Fernandez. Smartly dispatched. Rashford critically kept his distance. A row will ensue. Inevitably, a row will ensue about the extent to which Marcus Rashford was implicitly a part of that play. And Old Trafford is effervescent. The Reds have let the blue touch paper. It's suddenly frenetic. It's Garnacho. And Garnacho will get another go. And he'll twist away from Ake. And Rashford scores! The Reds twice in a choice. It is an old Trafford tumult. Derby Day is on its head. Now then, Eric, what have you here? He has Manchester United ahead in the Derby from behind. What a change of mood. Say again, United win here, they are a point behind City, and that being the case, if City are in the title race, why aren't United? Are they... Fractious fought on edge, and Pep's frown is deep. United win it, and United are in it. A red statement like few others. They mean it again. This feels like Manchester United again. Trailed, but they would not be defied. Greenish for City. The champions seemed on their way, but no. Bruno Fernandes with a smart equaliser. And Marcus Rashford 
with a poacher's winner. And we have a tale in Manchester, a tale of two competitive clubs again. Rebecca, what a tale. United 2, City 1. Back by Martinez. Ericsson's return pass. Malassia. And Sancho has sat one down and scored! And Old Trafford explodes! Now that, that is the sound of the theatre of dreams. When they are dreaming. Jaden Sancho with his first goal since a meaningless consolation in the Manchester derby in March. This one, this one is as far from meaningless as is conceivable. And for the first time as the Manchester United manager, Eric Ten Hag relishes a lead. ...by Varane and it broke from Martial and Rashford ahead of him if he can let him go. And Marcus Rashford is on his way and plants it in front of a buoyant strip and end. Manchester United are living again. The secondary celebration, the confirmatory celebration, the goal stands. Dallo out, Elliot back in, Carvalho turning, De Gea smothering, Salah following up, Liverpool have an interest, 10 minutes to play, back on edge, feel the mood change, wait for the noise, it's coming, Eric it is coming, the time has passed, 95 plus, one of the nights of his life. At last, at long, long last, Manchester United's night. How they have thirsted for this. How long they have thirsted for this. The bitterest of enemies are beaten by them. Trafford feels as Old Trafford should feel. Jaden Sancho, splendid first half goal. Marcus Rashford, splendid strike in the second. A reminder of how he is at his sprightliest and hungriest. Mo Salah gave Liverpool late interest, but Liverpool weren't quite themselves. And they are three games at the start of a season without a win. Klopp musters a smile, but it is a weak smile. Eric Ten Hag has his teeth into the job. Manchester United have their teeth into the season. And nine days on from Brentford, they were unrecognisable. This indeed, Rebecca, might be considered by United folk a transformational night. The night it all changed. The night they came to life. Manchester United 2, Liverpool 1. Welcome one and all at Old Trafford this mild autumnal Sunday. The delicious evocative flavour, the sweet nostalgic hint of how it once was. Manchester United and Arsenal in a moment when, as of old, they are both expecting to win. In all its ancient grandeur, Old Trafford effervescent and zealous for one of the special games. Away from Gabriel, here's Sancho, rolled up for Marcus Rashford, one more here for Anthony! Instant star of the Stratford end! Take a bow, new boy! You are a red on day one! That's my boy, Eric Ten Hag. Weight off young shoulders, one of them from the off. So Old Trafford has a new pin-up boy. His name is Anthony. He has established the lead over Mikel Arteta's Arsenal, who, remember, to this point, are perfect this season. Manchester United unbeaten in 119 Premier League games when they've led at half-time. But uh, half an hour's business to do first, and Jesus is through, and Saka scores! And Arsenal have parity! They've been banging at the door, and now they prize it open. And the Gunners in that corner are bouncing up and down. Bruno Fernandes, beautiful ball. Marcus Rashford's onto it. And Rashford scores! Old Trafford triumphant again. Marcus Rashford is himself.
himself again. That is the player we remember. And that is how it feels in the Stretford end, and that is how it feels to be Marcus Rashford again. And apparently renaissance talent. Should Eriksson homing in on goal and finding Rashford! Face to face with a buoyant Stretford end! This could be the downing of the Gunners at last! Perhaps a relaunch of United. Manchester United motoring, going places, seemingly ready to be big time players again. A part of it in the right part of the table. Nicola Arteta faces up to defeat for the first time this season. All good things must come to an end. Arsenal's run has been very good, but it is terminated. And whilst they still look down from the top of the Premier League table, they look at a Manchester United team which is wreathed in smiles from the new boy to the established. It was Anthony, a million dollars worth, who set them on their way. And Rashford, after Saka had equalised, who took them home. Winners here by three goals to one. Good day to you from Old Trafford. We welcome you to the self-styled Theatre of Dreams for the always glamorous Premier League collision of Manchester United and Tottenham Hotspur. One of the great historic north-south battles of our game. United Spurs forever a hot ticket event. And Old Trafford embraces it. Here's Bruno Fernandes, and there's Anthony, and here is Jaden Sancho, and that is Fred! He scored! United penetrates at the Stretford end! Rolled up for Bruno Fernandes, it's come down for Fred. Bruno Fernandes, Jim! An absolute sparkle! Manchester United are most of the way there. And the whistle goes. And that is how good Manchester United might be. How good Ten Hag's side can be. That for them must be a blueprint. That for them must be a bar set. Fred with the opening goal early in the second half. Fire a very kind for Spurs, a cruel deflection. Bruno Fernandes with a truly beautiful goal. 21 minutes out from the end and Manchester United in truth worthy of that not least for the pressure they exerted before half time when Hugo Lloris as indeed he did in the second period had to come up with a string of really very very good saves. Ten Hag with every reason for satisfaction. Tottenham Hotspur beaten for only the second time this season and that huddle is a huddle of contentedness. Why would it not be? Ahmed, if Manchester United can find this form repeatedly, then they will surely quickly become relevant at the very serious end of the Premier League. 2-0 winners tonight.